Hello everybody, that is here, very happy to see all of you on the other side of the screen. Guess which second block I would be testing on my test bench. You probably guessed it right because this is the Alpha Cool Core 1. This block totally blew my mind last year when I decided finally to test it against other block. I already tested it on Intel platform and it shows such a great result that I just thought I make some sort of mistake, so I was testing, retesting, and even open another brand new EK block just to establish some baseline back to back, and still got very nice result. So we tested EK again as the first block, so we know certain average number for let's say somebody who performing in the middle of the pack, and now I wanted to confirm that Core One still performing better also we're using AM5. The key learning from this exercise, I wasn't sure 100%, although I was sure 99% that it doesn't matter what you test, Intel or AMD, at the end of the day this is a heat source, so if one block performing better than other block, you probably wouldn't reasonably expect that the trend will continue. And I got pretty much similar result with a gap between velocity and core one. So let me show you some results that I tested it. I decided to continue do the same type of test that I stumbled upon just experimenting with my test bench. So I continue to show you what's happening with the stock, what's happening with the curve method, negative 25 which is stable for my system and also fixed configuration, fixed, uh, fixed uh, type of work clocking with the fixed voltages and uh, clocks. So here we go. You can see that we have the same gap between core 1 and velocity 2. So it's absolutely identical to what we had before, which is a, in a way is a good result, which just means that in the future, if somebody tests the system, compare, compare different products like CPU blocks on a certain platform, doesn't matter, Intel or AMD, basically you don't need to search frantically for your similar platform. So the balance between performance will be pretty much the same. So you can see that that we get just confirm result on our Intel platform. In a way anticlimactic, but at the same time I'm a little bit relieved because it's actually it doesn't mean that you always have to test everything on to twice. Which is good. Also I'd like to show you what kind of performance characteristics we get out of Cinebench 2024. So on velocity, negative 25 was marginal a little bit higher number. Here we have a marginally higher number on fixed configuration. So it's about the same. But again, happily to confirm that we're basically getting the same 10 degrees difference when we go a smart overclocking method, which is great. I really like it. So I don't want to bother you with reviewing the blog second time because I just did it less than a month ago. If you want to know why I think blog is cool besides performance characteristics, please refer to my video that I did just recently for your convenience, link in the description. So we'll see what next we're going to test. This is um, a little bit became less urgent for me because as I said that all my tests that I did on Intel platform pretty much can be applied for AMD, but nevertheless, we'll see what else we can do with this test bench in the future. Thank you for watching. This is a short video, but I'm pretty sure that that's all you wanted to know what numbers that we get. And you got it. Thank you for watching. See you soon.